meets lush alluvial plains in beautiful Ventura. Mac OS Ventura enriches so many of the ways we use our Macs. So let's jump in. A key part of the Mac experience is helping you be productive and creative, which can often mean having a lot of windows open at once. And the more you do, the more overwhelming this can become. We all want the perfect mix to focus on our work without distractions and to easily move between tasks. This year, we have a new way to automatically keep everything organized and give you quick access to your windows. It's called Stage Manager. Let's see how it works. When you're working on the Mac, it's really easy to find yourself with lots of open windows. Now, the Mac has great tools like Mission Control to help you find the window that you're looking for, but with so many open windows, it can feel like you never really escape all the clutter. With Stage Manager, you can focus on the app you're using without the distractions, and it's easy to get started. Let's activate Stage Manager from Control Center. As you see, it automatically arranges all my windows for me off to the side and puts the app I'm currently working with front and center. When I bring forward a different app, like clicking on Mail here in the dock, you'll see that it's brought to the stage and Safari gracefully moves over to the left with my other recent apps. When I click on Safari, it retakes the stage and Mail moves back to the left. You'll notice that for an app with multiple open windows, like Pages here, Stage Manager gathers all the windows together in a single pile. When I click, I get the top one. And if I want a different window, I can cycle through them just by clicking. It's really convenient. Of course, just as you would expect on a Mac, I can have overlapping windows and multiple apps open at the same time too. It's really easy to group apps together. Here, I'll drag in Notes and pair it with my Pages window. This is so great when I'm working on projects that involve a specific group of windows, like planning a trip with these three apps here. And if I go back to my previous group, Stage Manager keeps my windows arranged just as I left them. I love working this way. Of course, like many Mac users, I often want to get at files on my desktop. And with Stage Manager, we've made that easier than ever. I'm working on this Final Cut project, and I want to pull in a couple of files. With just a click on my desktop, my windows clear the stage and my files are revealed. Now, I can grab these title graphics and drag them over to my Final Cut window. I'll just drop them in right here, and boom. So that's a quick look at multitasking with Stage Manager. Another part of the Mac experience that helps you do more is Spotlight. This year, we have a big update that delivers a more consistent and powerful experience across our platforms. Spotlight is great for doing all kinds of things, like quickly launching an app or starting a search. And now you can peek at a result in Quick Look with a tap on the space bar. Spotlight can now also find images from your photo library across the system and on the web. And using live text, you can search the text inside the image. You can also take actions like starting a timer or running a shortcut right from Spotlight. It's also a great way to get information now leveraging the full window for richer results. For musicians, you'll see their albums, key facts, news, and more. It's also great for movies, TV shows and actors, businesses, and sports. Rich results and the ability to take actions right from Spotlight are also coming to iOS and iPadOS. Now, speaking of iOS, we wanted to make Spotlight even easier to discover and access, so we added it right to the bottom of the home screen. With just a tap, you can use Spotlight to launch an app, find a contact, or start a search. These updates make Spotlight more productive, helping you find what you're looking for faster. Next, let's turn to an app that many of us use to communicate every day. To take you through it, here's Darren. Of course, we're talking about mail. Mail is central to how so many of us communicate. This year, we have great updates that will help you be more productive, starting with some highly requested features. Undo Send lets you pull an email back a few moments after hitting Send. Scheduled Send 
so your emails arrive at the perfect moment. Follow-up suggestions will automatically remind you to follow up if you haven't received a response. And Remind Me makes it easy to come back to a message at a particular date and time. Next, let's talk search. This is the biggest overhaul of search in mail we've done in years, leveraging the latest state-of-the-art techniques to deliver more accurate and complete results. When you click search, you'll see recently shared documents, links, and more. The moment you start typing, with each letter, you instantly see suggestions. If you make a typo, search is one step ahead, only showing results for the correct spelling. And if search knows a synonym, it'll look for that too. And all these new features are also coming to iPadOS and iOS. And that's mail. Next up is another app most of us spend a ton of time in every day, Safari. With macOS Ventura, Safari is the world's fastest browser, rendering the most complex websites with incredible speed. Safari is the most power efficient browser on Mac, letting you do more on a single charge than any other browser. And of course, Safari is a trailblazer in protecting your privacy on the web with features like intelligent tracking prevention and privacy report. Safari has a legacy of introducing key web technologies that elevate the web experience for everyone. Safari's pioneering support for HTML5 transformed the video experience on the web, resulting in higher quality playback and increased battery life. And Safari continues to deliver support for the latest web technologies and standards for web developers, including all of these added in just the last year like more fluid web animations, new browser extension types, and support for the push notification standards. These enable more immersive and engaging web content for our users. And now, Safari has a new way to share your favorite content with others with shared tab groups. Whether you're planning a trip with friends or shopping for a couch with your partner, you can share all the tabs in one place. And when they find something great, they can add tabs too. You can see which tabs your friends are looking at live. And using built-in collaboration, you can easily connect in real time over messages or FaceTime. It's so easy to discover the web together. And next, we have a new way to make the web a safer place. We rely on passwords to protect our most private accounts. While Safari helps users create the strongest passwords possible, there are still ways accounts can be compromised. Hackers can use social engineering techniques like phishing, to trick users into giving up passwords. They can also breach a website directly to get access to all the passwords stored on its server. That's why we've helped create a next generation credential that's more secure, easier to use, and aims to replace passwords for good. We call them passkeys. Passkeys use powerful cryptographic techniques and the biometrics built into your device to keep accounts safe. To create a passkey, just use Touch ID or Face ID to authenticate, and you're done. When users create a passkey, a unique digital key is created that only works for the site it was created for. Passkeys can't be phished. Since the passkey never leaves your devices, hackers can't trick you into sharing it on a fake website. And passkeys can't be leaked because nothing secret is kept on a web server. We've designed passkeys to work in apps as easily as they do on the web. Passkeys are securely synced across Apple devices using iCloud Keychain and are instantly available on Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. We've been working with industry leaders in the FIDO Alliance, including Google and Microsoft, to ensure that passkeys work seamlessly cross-platform. With a passkey, you'll be able to walk up to a non-Apple device and sign into a website or app using just your iPhone. The transition away from passwords will be a journey and we look forward to working with developers on the passwordless future. And that's Safari.